The insecurity ravaging the North today is what the central bank has targeted and not the people of the North. This policy will make the kidnapping of students in their, in their schools not to be lucrative anymore because they cannot convert this money to dollars which, with which they can buy arms and ammunition to attack our villages and endanger, endanger our lives. With this policy, Boko Haram will soon come to an end. So, we, as Ariwa youth, so we, as Ariwa youth, give our total and unalloyed support to the CBN for this policy. We can only come. We can only call on the Apex Bank to ensure a full implementation of this policy notwithstanding the initial challenges by way of the slip in the value of the Naira, as this is the only tem temporary, as, as this is only temporary, and indeed expected. We will, we will campaign to our people to support government on this. We will take the advocacy to the villages and hamlets, and we will enlist the traditional institutions to assist us in doing this. Thank you very much for listening. This policy will definitely throw these terrorists out of business because businesses will not have the volume of dollars they require, thereby ultimately improving our national security. This policy of the CBN can, in other words, be referred to as a policy to take dollars from illegal hands and put it in the legal hands. So terrorists, criminals, kidnappers, speculators, and indeed looters are going to be denied access to forests. Let it, let it be known that any person who is against this policy is indirectly a supporter of the bandits, be they in the Northwest or any other region within the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Because kidnappers, looters, and criminal government officials, including drug barons and peddlers, and indeed all forms of cross-border crimes, at one point or another, require the use of forex. We therefore want to urge all Nigerians, the youths, civil societies, and indeed members of the press, to join in this support and guarantee the lives of citizens, even the rights to education, education which has now been denied many children in the states of this country. <laughs>